for today. Thank you for being with us today. Also, Dr. Suba shared with us some of the repercussions that some of our community members have faced in terms of being threatened and in terms of actions of violence. He didn't really elaborate much about the show of love and compassion that we had actually experienced as well from the interfaith community. And today we are honored and proud that we have we've been requested to have members of the interfaith community to come and join us and to be with us today. And I would like just to acknowledge members of the interfaith community here with us today. Rabbi Peter Levy from the Temple Beth El in Aliso Viejo and Pastor Mark Carver from the Saddleback Church and members of their communities are here with us as well. And also to acknowledge the presence of Reverend Patricia Paddock, who is actually also visiting here, Andrea Paddock, who is visiting here from the Catholic Church. So if I may just ask Rabbi Levy if you want to share a few words with us, and then Pastor Mark if you would as well. Alam alaikum. I'm going to have to work on my Arabic. <laughs> so, Jews and Christians, we knew we had to be here today. And we had to be here today for one reason, which is really to say that we refuse to be enemies. That we understand, it was a beautiful talk, that we have many names for God. Maybe it's Father, Son, or Holy Ghost, or Jesus, or Adonai, or Elohim, or Allah. But it's all one God. We have many paths. And part of the beauty of having our many names is that we recognize that each of us are made in God's image or have a holiness or that spark or that light of the divine in us. And we know that anyone who truly believes in God and understands that God is God and that I am not God, anyone who understands that can never commit an act of hate or violence to another human being. But anyone who doesn't understand that needs to understand that. So we came today to say we refuse to be enemies. And we need you to come to our houses of worship because we're going to go and tell them tonight in this... We're going to... There we go. Because we're going to go back to our houses of worship and tell them tonight and this weekend and next week and next month and next year that we refuse to be enemies. <laughs> that we are all brothers and sisters. We are cousins on this earth together. Right now, the Jewish people are in the middle of the Festival of Lights. It's called Hanukkah. It's about bringing light into a dark world. And that's our mission, together. Hanukkah celebrates a historical event when we rededicated ourselves away from paganism into the worship of the one true and only God, whatever name you want to call that God. Right? The paganism of our time is the hatred it's the bigotry, it's the violence, it's the refusal to understand that there's the one God of all of us in this whole earth that we worship together. That's the paganism we have to fight together. And part of that, well, we gotta figure that out together. It's a lot that we have to do. So, we're here today. Our kids are in school together. They're on soccer team together. They're on debate team or robotics team. They take dance together. They go to the movies together. Maybe they separate when they go to their mosques, their synagogues, their churches, their temples. But they're together the rest of the time. And we gotta be standing together a lot more often. We will be here whenever we need to be here. And we knew that we had to be here today as non-Muslims to say we stand with you and we refuse to be your enemies. But if it's happening in your places of business, you need to let us know because we will come there. And if they're refusing to do business with you, you need to let us know because we'll be there. And if they're refusing to rent your children an apartment, you need to let us know because we'll be there. And that's what we have to do, is we have to show that we refuse to be enemies and that we can all be brothers and sisters. We can be cousins and we can be on this journey and we can agree and we can disagree. But we could also do it in peace and with love and with respect. And that's why we're here today. I look forward to being back, and I look forward to seeing you many more places. Thank you. I'm here.
here today because of friendship. In fact, many friendships. Several of you are close to me. When I was asked to come, it was easy to say yes. In times of trouble, we only have two places to go. We can go to our friends, we can go to God. To our friends, we say, I'm with you and I'm for you. To God, we say, I trust you because you love me. I've committed my whole life to you and I know that you will protect me. Thank you for that message. I know that you will protect me. So we have a privilege today to here to gather as friends and humbly on our knees to pray before God for his protection of us in our friendship in his protection and love for us as we have to face a world of evil. But as Peter said, we will do it together and we must be here for each other all the time. Thank you for allowing us to stay here. Andrea, Benek, Reverend Patria, I apologize, I, I kind of knew your name, so uh, thank you very much. I can't thank you enough for allowing me, an ordained woman of the Christian faith, to come to your house of worship. It's an honor, and it represents what we need to do together of all the religions. We must love each other. The basic message of our Abrahamic faith is love one another. I want to tell you that we are with you. I am not Catholic, as they said. They do not ordain women. So this collar that I wear, although it looks Catholic, is Episcopal. I want you to understand that last Friday in Ontario was the annual Episcopal Convention to which more than 2,000 Episcopalians go, either clergy such as myself and the laity. We all have a vote. Before we began at 1 o'clock last Friday, our two bishops, the one that is called the presiding bishop, Michael Curry, for the United States came and our bishop for the Diocese of Los Angeles, J. John Bruno, they both went together to San Bernardino, to the regional center. And it is on television, you can, jet, what do you do now, <coughs> stream it on, online, and you can see the two bishops saying, we are violently opposed to random acts of violence such as this. It has nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with being crazy. We must not allow acts such as that to make us feel frightened. We must band together, stay together, love each other, be together. And as they have said, if you need us, just mention it to the Interfaith Council. We will come. I will stand with you. I will dress as I am dressed now. And it's all of us together. Thank you. Thank you so much for standing with us. We truly appreciate it. Jazakallah khair. And wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.